interrupt your weaving, but I wanted to show you something really quick before we get into a little bit of a tutorial here. Many of you know that I, if you followed the warping process, I have every one but one indent on either side that is not warped. But take a look at the difference in patterning. The pattern is the same, believe it or not. It's just how it is beat into place. And this is fingering weight yarn. And of course, I'm using the heddle that came with my loom, which is meant for worsted weight. So instead of almost a see-through, I'm not sure if I can get this on camera. I have compacted it down and beat it down to make a more solid, sturdier fabric. All right, let's get to how I wrap the sides with two colors. All right, I'm back at the loom where I want to show you the dark and the light color. Most pla pe you know, places or people tell you to lay one down so that way here, if you pick up the next color, your end, let me see if I have a pen handy here. That is my end warp yarn. So if I would not wrap the dark yarn around this yarn and I'm in the upright position, and when I go to pass through, You see how my dark yarn is through that loop? That way here, that end warp actually gets a little loop of black. So there's my loop of black. And I can already tell right now this is too tight. How do I know? Because how I try to keep my ends, see that little white loop? White loop, white loop. See, I have three normal plain weaves of the white, and then I go dark, light, dark, light, dark, and then three more rows of white. So, See if I can find this white down here for you. See, that's way too tight, so it'll be inconsistent. And consistency is what you want. So what you would do is before you do the next row, and that's why when I had some questions, is like I fiddle with mine a lot. You want that white to show right there just a little bit. And that will be your sweet spot, so to speak. So that way here you keep consistent bumps. Even though, like I said, this is not going to be consistent because I have three rows of plain weave in the white. Now if I was alternating each row with black, white, black, white, then the bumps would stay consistent. But in here, when the it's nothing but white and white, so I'll have, you know, flat spots. Just keeping the bumps aligned, that's all that matters. All right, so now in the downward position. I go. And I like to pull my yarn just until it starts giving a tug on the end. That way here, I also try to keep the same tension when weaving. Now it's a little dark in here, but I do the same thing for the other side because this also 
I put my black up here so that way here I know that my white is going to wrap around that last warping thread. And of course this angle is a little awkward. I'm standing at my desk just to show you. Now on the opposite side, it looks like little V's. It's the opposite of what's going on here. And how I came up with this is trial and error. But here's a little trick because as you can see, when you beat down on this with the huddle, it's not pushing it forward. So in order to get that tighter looking weave, I just take a normal pen, nothing fancy. And when I tell you I fiddle a lot with it, I fiddle a lot with it. That's just me. I want to get this down here so you can actually see that it is the same. and then show you how the side wrap placement is one more time. There's no right way or wrong way that I found that you can do this. It's just whatever suits your taste and the look that you're going after. All right, so as you can see when I get it all smushed down in there and beat down like I want it to, so that way here I don't have a, a see-through or a gauzy fabric, it's pretty solid. Even though this heddle is not meant for fingering weight yarn. All right, let's wrap a few more. Then I'll piddle with it more. Okay, again, lay down the dark. So you, when you come up over, you're gonna go have a loop through there. And here's what not to do. Well, maybe I did catch it. There for a second I thought I didn't. Like I said, I keep mine so I can visibly see the white thicker yarn you'd be able to gauge a little better I guess maybe maybe not and I just keep it about the same consistency just so that way here again that end warping yarn is covered just by a little bit of black and that's why you see the pattern in the sides as it is that there's black bars along there. And there you have it. That's how I get my edges. Like I said, consistency and I play with it a lot. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I know there were some questions and comments about the weaving process, the ends, how I get my edges, working with two colors. Like I said, you lay one of your shuttles down and make sure that end one is wrapped with the other so that you have your warped ends all together. Because if not, you're just, it's going to look really bad or odd. It also helps sturdy up the fabric because that is the ends of your fabric if you're not going to cut it and make it into something else. So I hope this gives you a little better understanding on what you can do with your loom and the different patterning depending on how you beat 
your weft yarn down. And as always, if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be glad to answer them or it'll be a future tutorial for you as well. So there you have it, guys. I hope you guys have a creative weekend. As always, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified for when I post a new video. It does help, and it's much appreciated. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.